WestEt has had a long history of working with the Office of Special Education Programs. We've done a variety of different projects with them over the course of several decades, uh, going back to collecting the special education data um, and editing it and creating different data displays for it to the current iteration, which is the IDEA Data Center. Data quality is important at every level, but it is particularly important at the federal level because we're making policy that impacts seven and a half million students with disabilities. And so if we don't have solid data quality, we're making decisions based on data that may or may not be correct. When you make those decisions on incorrect data, it compounds problems that we already know and already have. We want to make sure that when we make decisions at the Department of Ed, we are making it on the highest quality of data that we possibly can. As a state, we work with IDC on our annual report to the federal government, and that is really the, the basis of all of our monitoring activities, that report. Everything that we do is an outgrowth of that report, and making sure that that data is in the best quality and is most usable is something that IDC is really specialized in doing over my years. IDC has been integral here in the state of Kentucky in helping us make improvement not only in my area, but in areas as a whole. Helping folks to understand at the SEA level, the LEA level, how to really leverage every single opportunity we have to understand data from a practical perspective and to be able to implement it for change. One of the things I think IDC does a really good job of when connecting local education agencies and state education agencies together is raising up best practices and sharing them out with the rest of the world. We know that we have been successful in the technical assistance that we provide when we have really helped the state meet their goals. The Interactive Institutes are an TA service that we provide to states. It's our big annual meeting that we hold. We invite state teams, usually about four to five people of various role groups within the state, to join us. The whole goal is to really help states be able to build a culture of high quality data within their state agency and to be able to sustain that culture of high quality data. We had an institute that focused on being a data quality influencer and what that looks like because we really truly believe that we can empower any individual within a state to be able to influence data and data use within their state agency and be a high quality data influencer. To me, a data quality influencer uh, is someone who not only knows their data, but also knows uh, about what their data represents. Uh, and in the case of education, that's students. They're able to track down problems and find solutions so that the people behind the data are accurately represented. Well, local staff have, I mean, they're the ones who have all the influence on whether our data is accurate or not. It's for them to be keeping up on things as they actually happen, um, to record student information in a timely way and then to review it. That's all ultimately done at the local level. We can support it at the state level, but at the local level, I always say that's where the magic happens. Um, and at the state level, we're just pr providing them with the knowledge, the information and the support to do that well. I feel like as far as messages to local folks who may not consider themselves to be data quality influencers, that everyone has skin in the game. Every single one of us is responsible for something, whether that's uh, majorly or minorly, in terms of what can affect the overall outcomes of data and used for our schools, our districts, our students, and also to keep in mind that we all have to be proactive in understanding that even if we don't feel we have a role, that we're supporting the overall nature of improvement. The department influences data quality in a variety of different ways, but one of the big ones that we found is that we influence it by using the data. 
The department has a number of different resources that they have developed to show the data at use, right? We have the annual report to Congress, we have fast facts, we have static tables. And by generating these products and really being able to show the data in a manner that is not just a bunch of Excel tables, we really do help to shed light on it because the average person can pick up a fast fact, look at it, and see, oh wow, I see that there's a difference here that they might not have been able to see before.